and welcome to Zenata Consulting's beginner series. Uh, my name is Tyler Colt, and in this video, we're going to be walking through how to set up a mail merge document that you can generate directly from within the CRM. Um, this is one of the most common things that we actually help clients with. Generating custom quotes, proposals, and contracts through the CRM is super easy and painless as long as you know where to look. Um, before we jump in, I do want to ask if you find this video useful, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. Uh, that really helps us out and it'll make sure that YouTube gets our videos in front of you in the future so that you don't miss any future sessions that we do walking through topics like this. Alrighty, and with that, let us go ahead and jump in. So in this case, um, you know, we're not going to focus too much on making our mail merge document pretty. Um, I'm just going to walk through kind of how these work and how you would actually go about setting them up. So I'm going to go ahead and just open up any old deal here. Um, let's say we want to use our commercial press deal. Actually, this is closed lost. Even though it's demo data, we don't want to use closed lost demo data. So let's let's open up one that's new here. There we go. So here's a deal that's in play. So to actually go ahead and set up the mail merge, we're going to start one step earlier and think about what we have tracked in the deal. So if we're going to create a document that's going to populate itself from the deal, we'll need to make sure that we have every piece of data necessary in the deal to actually fill in the document. So in this case, we have a pretty simple deal layout here. You know, we have our core deal information. We've, of course, linked that up to an account and a contact. We're tracking this through its stages with an amount, a closing date, and an expected revenue based on our stage probabilities. We do have a, cust a few custom fields down here for qualification info and needs information, um, but those are kind of internal things for us that we probably wouldn't be using in a document. So to get our mail merge set up here, we're going to jump now to settings up in the top right. From settings, we'll go ahead and open up templates. And in templates, we'll navigate to mail merge. All righty, and with our mail merge now open and loaded, we see we do have one kind of example document here from a long time ago. We're not going to worry about that. I'm going to create a new one. So here over on the left, I can create a new template. If you have a proposal that's already in DocX or a Word document, you can go ahead and just upload that to the CRM. And it's going to get probably like 90% of the formatting right. You might have to make a couple little tweaks just to make it perfect, but it's going to save you a lot of time. Um, in order to show the core functionality here, I'm going to go ahead and just make a new template. <clears throat> Each template is associated with a particular module. This will kind of determine what fields it has available and where you'll be able to generate this from. <clears throat> so I've made a template name here for the proposal template. I'll give a description as primary template for client engagements. Here we'll see they do have a vast bank of templates for a variety of different use cases that you might want. Um, some of these might just save you a little time with formatting. So if you see one that's kind of close to what you're thinking about, you could always start there and make some edits. Um, in my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a basic template. Alrighty, and with that, you'll see we've actually now opened up into Zoho Writer. Even though this is in the CRM, it's actually uh, powered by Zoho's word processing tool, Zoho Writer, which is essentially like a Microsoft Word. So over here on the left, as a quick overview, it's going to give you all of those standard things that you're going to see in a word processor. You know, the ability to format and edit any of your text and text breaks, um, ability to insert images, tables, drawings, text boxes. Um, symbols, as well as dynamic dates. So if you wanted like the current date in here, you could do that. We also have a variety of auto fields. These aren't really what we're looking for. These are nice for things like page count, current date, you know, that those types of dynamic merges. Um, but we actually want to pull this from the record data. 
Of course, we can do any of our normal design, uh, define our page setup with margins, line spacing, all of those things. Um, for our use cases now, what we're going to do is jump to this automate section. So the automate section on the left here actually gives us the ability to pull data from that record. So in this case, the deal directly into the document. So I'm going to go ahead and start typing here. And we'll see over on the left, I have a whole section of fields that I can choose from. So if I were to search deal name and click that, I've now added the merge tag for deal name. Now you might think, what about our account? Because the account is technically just linked to a deal. Um, it doesn't uh, write that value. It doesn't pull all of the account data into the deal. It's kind of in its own separate record. Um, good news is that that doesn't matter too much for us in this case, because over here on the left, again, if I search account, we'll actually see that I can pull from any field from that account that's related to the deal. So if I open up our CRM account here, if I wanted to pull something like the um, name of the account, of course, I can pull that in. Um, but, you know, I might want to pull in things like account type, annual revenue, employees, industry, you know, all of those are fair game because it's linked to that deal. Now, there is one other way that we can do these merges. So you can use your interface over here on the left, or you can hit pound, and that's going to pull up a drop down here, which of course is still searchable. So I'll pull in our industry. You might also want to pull in things like the name of our contact. All right. And so of course here, this template has of course not been uh, really beautified here. We've not added much language. Um, you know, I don't think this proposal would get signed uh, for being totally honest. It's not too pretty quite yet. But nonetheless, we can go ahead and proceed um, because I think we've covered kind of the core idea, which is that uh, this template gives you a place that you can create a document using all the tools that you're used to inside of Microsoft Word. Um, just with the added benefit of pulling in any relevant data from that deal or any records that are related to that deal. So I'm going to go ahead and save our template here. And now we've got that saved within our mail merge documents. So now to kind of bring it all home here, we'll go ahead and create this document. So from here, inside of the deal, up in the top right, under the three dots, I can open up the mail merge section. This is going to give me a list of all templates that I have available. So in this case, I'll go ahead and grab the proposal template that we just created, and I'll click Merge. This is going to open a new tab. I do want to highlight um, pop-up blocker has an issue with this little step here. If you try this out at home and you're finding that nothing is popping up at really any point in this process, just check your pop-up blocker and maybe whitelist writer.zoho.com. Kind of just an odd little thing that'll happen there. So now what we'll see is that we've actually um, pulled in all of this data over to the uh, record. We've got all our places here that it's gonna go, um, but it's not actually displaying those values. Um, that's because it gives us this view where we can make any edits we need to make before we proceed. Once we're actually ready to uh, create the document with all of the relevant data, under our Automate tab, we can kind of decide what we want to do. Um, so you can merge it and just save it as a new document. Um, you can merge and send. You can merge and send for sign collection if you are using Zoho Sign or DocuSign or any of those other tools. Or you can merge and invoke a custom function. We're not going to worry about that too much for this. this that will be kind of a totally separate video on what you can do there. Um, but let's go ahead and run our merge.
So now the document is being created. Again, you wanna check your pop-up blocker here if nothing happens at this point. Um, perfect example, we actually got pop-up blocked and I'll go ahead and allow that and rerun our merge. Sometimes that will just take a moment depending on the size of your document. So now we'll see that we've got a new document here that's actually its own doc. It's no longer a template. It's got a name here with merged. We might wanna give this a name like felt printing service proposal. And then again, before we actually go ahead and download this or distribute it, we can make our additional edits. Um, we kind of like this process because though proposals can be mostly templated, sometimes you do need the ability to add a little bit of custom language, right? You might've had a certain conversation or there might be a specific deliverable that you want to emphasize and a template is never going to be able to capture that. Um, so we like to give this opportunity to actually make edits before it's sent out. Now to actually send the document up here under this little compose dropdown is another option for distribute. Once we open that, we can go ahead and publish this document, send it directly as an email, post it to a blog, upload it to a signed service if we want to send it for signature, um, as well as download this as a variety of different document types that could be emailed directly to a customer, you know, wrapped within a nice email template sent from the CRM. And with that, I think we have covered the core steps here for a mail merge. Um, again, there's just so much functionality here. We wanted to get this video as kind of a V1 first steps for setting this up. Um, so again, to start under your settings, you'll go ahead and set up a template under settings and templates. And then lastly, mail merge. And then once you've done that, you can merge all of the fields that you need into the document and send it out using the three dots and mail merge. Of course, we hope that you found this video helpful. Um, if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. Again, that really, really helps us out and lets us know that we're making content that you are enjoying and that you're putting to use at your own organization. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.